there's often some confusion when it comes to what is a GNSS receiver, what is a chart plotter. Um, but a bit of a history lesson for you here, a bit of fun. So way back in the 1990s, we first started to get, um, commonly got GNSS receivers on yachts. Now these handsets look pretty retro. We've actually still got one on MIFA. So I'll tell you what, let's go have a look at that and I'll tell you about that there. So here we have our slightly old school GNSS receiver on MIFA. And these things, they, they just give us the latitude and longitude and they'll give us the speed over ground, course over ground. And they'll do waypoints and bearings and distance waypoints too. But there's no chart on there and it doesn't plot our position on a chart. So it's not a chart plotter. Um, and this particular one's from 1991 and it's still going strong. I've got to, got to admit, I've got a bit of a soft spot for some of this slightly older, more robust gear, which does stand to test the time. So I don't, I don't feel like I need anything more than that. I'm quite happy with that. So we're hanging on to it for now. Um, but a GNSS receiver doesn't have to be from 1991. You can still buy modern day versions of this that don't do the chart plotting. Uh, they just give you the latitude, longitude and the basic features. So after that, uh, what we started to get is actually handheld GNS receivers. So do exactly the same thing, all the same tricks, except you can hold it in the palm of your hand. You know what was really cool about this is them being battery powered, double A batteries, you can swap the batteries in and out. And uh, yeah, it's just such a good backup to have on your boat. So if all your electrics die, pop on your handheld GNSS receiver. Fast forward to the noughties, the 2000s. This was quite cool. We started to get, instead of just lat and long readouts, we started to get our charts shown on our screens and our position displayed on in real time. We got our first chart plotters. Everything up till now, just a GNSS receiver. This is now a chart plotter. It is plotting our lat and long on a chart. These were really cool, really exciting. To be honest, using them, I learned to sail in the noughties. <laughs> they weren't that useful. The screens were so small, the charts were so small, it was so hard to see anything. Um, and yeah, basically, I actually preferred just a basic GNSS receiver. And of course, following suit, the natural next step, handheld chart plotters. So now we've just got these um, cool chart plotters, but in an even smaller device, smaller screen. Again, great as a backup. Personally, um, I would always buy one without a chart because I just find it easier to use. But, you know, personal preference. A chart that's only two inches wide, not that amazing. Fast forward to the 2010s. Now we're getting there. Technological advances, screens got better, everything got cheaper, and all of a sudden we got these big, fancy, glossy screens on our boats. For the first time, we can really see the chart and use these to navigate well. This is when we really started to change away from plotting our position on the paper chart as a standard uh, to basically watching our boat drive across the screen and driving that boat across the screen. That is a bad habit, by the way, driving the boat across the screen. Hopefully we're gonna teach you how to use these things a little bit better than that. It wasn't just chart plotters to progress. Yachts are now coming as standard with generators, inverters, loads of power. When I started to sail, I'd just switch my phone off at the start of the week because I knew we wouldn't be able to charge it. Now, we're running laptops on boats. And with the laptops, we've got chart plotters on laptops. It's probably really hard to see, so I'll get that laid up on the screen for you instead. Now, these are really cool. Uh, one nice thing is with the software on your computer, it's pretty much infinitely customizable to get it just how you like it. The, but to be honest, the main reason it's gained traction with yachts is because people like to use them to pirate charts. It's a lot easier 
to get pirated charts, knockoff charts. Obviously, not only is this illegal, but those charts are not recommended for use for navigation. It's not something we can endorse. Getting into the latter half of the decade, latter half, uh, sort of 2015 onwards, it started to become uh, the norm for everyone to have a smartphone and a tablet. And on those, they would also have chart plotting apps like this one. Again, you might not be able to see it so well in the light. Hopefully we'll get it laid up for you. Um, so what's cool about these? Super easy to use. The most, the, the, the really great thing is they're so cheap. We can buy a mobile phone for under a hundred pounds and we can buy chart plotting software for it for about 35 pounds. Compare that to our fitted chart plotters mounted Raymarine dedicated units. They've obviously got their own advantages, but they cost thousands and the charts cost hundreds per year. So, you know, chart plotting apps really made things a lot more accessible. So each of these devices I've just gone through that we've looked at together, walk around a busy marina and you will find every single one of these on a yacht. Not every single one on one yacht, but a different yacht, a different device. For example, we don't have a fancy Raymarine chart plotter on here. We've just got our good old 30 year old GNSS receiver. That is not super unusual. Um, so what that means is we've got to expect that whichever yacht we get on, there could be any one of these aboard. And so we've got to have a bit of an idea what it's doing. Now, just recapping some terminology. We talked about GNS of GNSS receivers at the start, and then they turned into chart plotters. GNSS receivers, listen to the satellites and work out our position. Chart plotters, they plot that position on a chart. They have GNSS receivers built in. What we have not said is sat-nav. We don't have sat-navs on a boat. When you get in your car and you put your sat-nav on, you say, I want to go here, and it does all the navigation for you. Satellite navigation. We don't do that. We are the navigators, the skippers and the navigators. So when we are sailing, we don't tell the, sat uh, tell the chart plotter where we want to go and follow it. We plot our routes in, we make all the decisions and do the navigating. Okay, Charlie, when the house bears about 270 degrees. ...to work out our distance from the lighthouse and use that. We might be perfectly on track, but if we're not on time... Have a look, I've got my phone here at the effect it has on our steering compass. So our echo sound is working, we can find a contour and follow it nicely into port. Our left hand is pointing towards the centre of the lobe. 